I must shine. God says I must go up and no matter what they say, no matter what they do, I am going to keep on going. You need to say that to yourself. You need to step up and say that to yourself. Don't be discouraged. You need to be encouraged. You need to be to step up as a true child of God. As a child of God, you need to step up. But if you're not a child of Hi guys, so today I'm going to be the storm. Yes, a lot of people have gone through a lot of things in life and they have been they have been knocked down. Life have knocked so life have knocked you guys down. Life have knocked you down in so many ways. But I've come to talk to you about God. I've come to encourage you. I've come to talk to you about how to keep going, no matter how life keep on hitting you down. Yes. So before I get into this video, please like my video, share, and subscribe so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified that I have uploaded a video. So let's get into this video, guys. So today actually is about how to get out of this home. Life, life has knocked a lot of people down. Life has knocked me down as well. But I have come to you today to encourage somebody, to talk to somebody, to lift up somebody's soul, to make sure that all of you are in the right track. So let's get into this video. And I was able to, you know, step up. How I was able to lift again yeah because a lot of this these days a lot of things have been happening when you have god in you when you have god in you nothing is impossible in your life because nothing is impossible for god to do to you because if you're a child of god he would definitely make you who you want to be in life so no matter how life knocks you down you have to step up you have to lift up yourself and tell life that life you cannot keep me down you cannot keep me down you have to keep on staying like you have to keep on going and going higher because if you if life hits you down and you stay down then that means that you have conquered that life that has hit you down because if you if, you, if life hits you down and you stay down that means that you have accept that the devil have over, that, that the devil has overcome your life this channel actually to encourage you that you have been going through that trial you have been going through that trauma you have been going through that challenge in life to encourage you that you should keep on going because if you stop you're not going to reach where God wants you to reach amen hallelujah the Bible says we should look up to him we should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness so every other thing will be added unto us why do you think that god says so because he knows that everything in this world belongs to him there is nothing in this world that does not belong to god everything in this world belongs to him that is why he is calling us as children of god to seek first his kingdom to ask him and to acknowledge the fact that he is our god our king and our father in heaven if you are going through that storm, I'm just going to be telling you a story of mine, which I went through. I have gone through a lot in life. I've gone through trials and temptations in life. I've gone through hardships in life. I've gone through a lot of things in life. And God has, God saw me through in those things that I went through. And I know that in the one direction, which is God, as you keep seeking the face of God, and definitely and once, it's going to answer me. So I kept on going. I kept on seeking the face of God. I kept on acknowledging the fact that He is God. That if you are out there and God and life have knocked you down, what you need to do is seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto you. So that is why I come to encourage somebody today. That is why I come to encourage you today to come 
to God, to seek first the kingdom of God, to acknowledge the fact that God is the king in your life, to acknowledge the fact that God is there in any time that you call on him. Because the Bible says that when you call on him, he will definitely answer you. That is in Matthew 7, 7. The Bible says that at it shall be given, seek and you shall find, knock at the door be open unto you. That is because he wants you to know that he is God. When you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, you expect nothing but goodness. But when life knocks you down, you remember the good things that God has done for you. You remember the good things that God has done in your life, which is to glorify the name of God, which is keeping you alive, which is making you stronger and not sick like others in the hospital and not dead like others in the mortuary but be keeping you alive is to glorify the name of god not to seek after worldly things but to seek after god so i came to encourage you today if life have knocked you down you need to step up don't remain down because you think that god that life is over it is not over yet until it's over it is not over until it's over do not allow the things of this world to take you away from God. Don't allow the things of this world to take, take you away from God. Because why? If you allow the things of this world to take you away from God, when life actually knocks you down and when you are when life knocks you down and you're not in the presence of God, know that you are going to actually re remain where that life has knocked you down. You are not going to have the courage to step up. You're not going to have the courage to lift up to say, Oh, I am a child of God. And I encourage you today. I I advise you today to give your life to Jesus because it's only God and God alone that can set you free from every station, from every situation and every danger that you are in because there is nothing that God cannot do for you. He can make you who you want to be in life. He can make you who you need to be in life and He can make you the highest. The Bible says we should seek first the kingdom of God. It is not because he is saying we should seek first the kingdom of God. It's for our good. It is not for, 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 for his good, but for our good. The Bible says that we should keep our ourselves as a living sacrifice. We should, sac we should keep our body as a living sacrifice unto God. It, it, it doesn't mean that... Um, that God is saying that because he wants us to just like no he wants he doesn't want us he doesn't want good from us no he wants good from us she wants good that is why he is saying we should keep ourselves we should keep our bodies as a living sacrifice because he knows when you keep your body as a living sacrifice there will be no sickness in you there will be no uh, stress in you you keep on going as a child of God yes you will keep on going as a child of God. Do not allow the things of those words to take you away from God. That is why the Bible says, keep your body as a living sacrifice. But if you don't keep your body as a living sacrifice, you see a lot of people this day, a lot of young ladies these days, selling their bodies off for money, doing terrible things for money. Just because of money. The Bible says when you come to him, he will give you riches. Because all the riches belongs to God and God alone. There is nothing... If you seek first the kingdom of God, he will give you the riches that you want. He will give you the money that you want. He will give you the house that you want. Life has knocked me down in so many ways, guys. Life has knocked me down in so many ways. But if, if life knocks you down, you stay in that place where life has knocked you down, then that means that you have, you have accepted the fact that there is no God. But if life knocks you down and you tell yourself that there is God in heaven, that God says I will be this, God says I will be that, God says I will be this, and nothing can stop me from being that. No matter how much life knocks me down, I will keep on fighting, I will keep on praying, I will keep on seeking the presence of God, and He will definitely hear you, my dear brothers and sisters. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing will be added unto you. Don't allow the things of this world to take you away from God. The things of this world are sin. If you if you, if you are a sinner, you, you, you call on God, he will never answer you. But if you are a righteous man, you call on God. Like Job, he will answer you. Remember the story of Job? 
the story of Job. Job was a rich man. Job had kids. Job has riches. Job has Job has everything. But when the devil entered, when the devil tempted the Job, when the devil entered the, the house of Job, his children died, all of his children died. His goods, his everything that he once had, everything gone away. If you read the story here, you are going to understand what the Bible says about Job. Job had everything that he, he, he ever wishes. Job had everything including his wife yes including his wife but when the devil came in when satan came in he took all of those things from job because he wanted job to backslide because he wanted job to stay away from god because he wanted job to think that oh god is not existing god does not exist god doesn't love here to encourage every one of you i am here to encourage you that life has knocked you down do not give up don't give up do not give up keep on seeking seeking the face of god and she will definitely see you through yes heavenly father thank you for your children thank you for for, for, for what you've done in your life thank you oh god and everyone that life have knocked them down that here i pray oh god in heaven that you give them the strength to continue to lift up their to press your name forever in jesus name father i worship you i exalt your name i pray god that may you up may you lift them up oh god may you make them who they want to be in life in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father and worship you in jesus mighty name of prayer amen so guys that is how life is if life knocks you down do not allow the life do not allow life to me to to to, to 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 tell you that oh there is no god if life have knocked you down keep on serving god keep on serving the lord and she will definitely see you through thank you very much guys for watching my video thank you very much i love you so much and do not forget that god loves you more